Smart Audiobook Player has been on the Play Store for over a decade now, and it's personally one of my favorite apps. This app is designed specifically for playing audiobooks, and believe me, it does that job exceptionally well. Ever since I started using Smart Audiobook Player, I haven't looked back. In this video, I'm going to cover all the features that make this app such an exceptional tool and why you should definitely give it a try. So, without further ado, let's dive into the best features this app has to offer. When you first open Smart Audiobook Player after installing it, the app will prompt you with a window requesting that you add a root folder. This is where you'll tell the app where your audiobooks are stored on your device. As you can see in the pop-up window, it recommends a specific folder hierarchy for organizing your audiobooks. This recommendation is important because it helps the app manage and display your audiobooks effectively. Let me show you how I've organized my audiobooks. First, I have a main folder called Audiobooks. Inside this folder, I've created separate folders for each author. So, for example, you'll see folders named after different authors. Inside each author's folder, I've created subfolders for each book title. These book title folders contain the audio files for that specific book. It's crucial to keep every book in a separate subfolder, even if it consists of only one file. This way, the app can recognize each audiobook as a distinct entity and organize them correctly. By organizing your audiobooks this way, not only will they be neatly arranged, but it also makes it easier for smart audiobook player to categorize and display them within the app. All right, back to the smart audiobook player app. You can now select the location of your audiobooks folder and allow the app to use this folder. Once you've done that, the app will perform a full scan and voila, it should now display all your audiobooks in the library menu. Uh, once you're in the library menu, you'll immediately notice the simple and minimalist interface of this app. Let's start with how your books are presented. The classification of your audiobooks in the app is entirely up to you. Right from the library menu, your audiobooks are categorized into three sections. New, Started, and Finished. New. This section contains audiobooks that you've added but haven't started listening to yet. It's perfect for keeping track of what you have lined up. Started. Audiobooks that you've begun listening to but haven't finished are placed here. The app remembers where you left off so you can easily resume. Finished. Once you've completed an audiobook, it moves to this section. It's a great way to keep your library organized and track your progress. You can easily change the status of any audiobook at any time. To do this, just long press on the audiobook you want to update and choose whether to mark it as new, started, or finished. Also, from this menu, you have the option to add descriptions to your audiobooks. For instance, if you'd like to know more about a book before starting it, you can select Search Description on Goodreads, which lets you find and copy the book's description from Goodreads and then paste it into your audiobook's details. Um, this feature is particularly useful if you have a large library and need a quick reminder about what each book is about. You'll also find the Search Cover on the Internet option in this menu. This feature allows you to search for and add covers to your audiobooks, which is handy if some of your audiobooks don't already have cover art. Having cover art enhances the visual appeal of your library and makes it easier to identify books at a glance. At the top right, you'll notice three buttons, the Folder View button, the Full Scan button, and the More Options button. The Folder View button lets you change how your books appear in the library menu. For example, you can switch between seeing your books as a list or in a grid view, depending on your preference. This option is particularly useful if you want to browse your library in different ways. The Full Scan button allows you to rescan your root folder in case you've added a new audiobook or made changes to your folder structure. This ensures that any updates or new additions are reflected in your library immediately. The More Options button is where things get interesting. To customize your library menu, tap on the More Options button, 
Then go to Settings. In the Settings, you'll find an option that allows you to change your root folder from this menu. Uh, just tap on Root Folder and choose a different location if you decide to move your audiobooks to another folder. Plus, there's an option to back up your audiobooks by selecting Backup to USB Drive. This is a lifesaver if you want to ensure your collection is safe and can be restored if needed. Also, you will find options to add a search button, a sort button, and a book queue button to the library menu. Simply check the boxes next to these options, and they'll be added to your library menu, giving you more control over how you interact with your audiobooks. Once you return to the library menu, you'll see the new buttons you just added, making your library menu even more functional. The search button allows you to easily find books in your library by title or author, which is incredibly useful if you have a large collection. The sort button gives you several sorting options by path, title, recently played, length, or date added. This feature is great for organizing your library in a way that makes the most sense to you. The book queue button lets you create a queue of audiobooks, much like creating a music playlist. Adding an audiobook to the queue makes it the next one to be played. To add a book to your queue, simply long press on it and you'll see a new option, Add to Book Queue. This option only appears after you've added the book queue button to the library menu. Tapping on it automatically adds that audiobook to your queue, allowing you to line up multiple books for continuous playback. All right, let's dive into the heart of the smart audiobook player, the playback screen. Once you tap on any audiobook in your library, it takes you directly to the playback screen where all the magic happens. Here, you'll see several key buttons that control playback. On the cover art, there's the play button. This is your main control for starting and pausing playback. Just below it, you'll find the forward rewind and backward rewind buttons, which allow you to skip forward or back by a set amount of time, usually 10 seconds by default, but you can adjust this in the settings. Another important set of controls are the next file and previous file buttons located on the extreme right and left of the cover art. These buttons are especially useful if your audiobook is split into separate files for each chapter. They let you quickly switch to the next or previous chapter, making it easy to navigate through your audiobook without needing to scroll through a long list of files. To navigate between chapters, you have a few options. You can long press on the next file or previous file buttons, or you can tap on the select file icon in the middle of these buttons. In the menu that pops up, you can switch from one file or chapter to another by tapping on them. This is especially handy if you need to jump to a specific chapter quickly. Now, let's cover some of the fun features above the cover art. First up is the sleep timer button, which is one of my favorites. I usually listen to audiobooks before bed, and sometimes I fall asleep before the book finishes. The sleep timer has been a game changer for me. You can set a timer, and when it reaches the set time, the audiobook will automatically stop playing. However, if you set the timer for 60 minutes, but fall asleep after 30 minutes, only 30 minutes of the book would be considered read. Um, that's where the motion tracking feature comes in. Tap on the settings here, and you'll find this option. Uh, motion tracking lets you shake your device periodically to let the app know you're still awake and reset the timer. Um, if you don't shake the device after the timer ends, the app will automatically stop playback. Uh, you can adjust the force needed to shake the device and explore additional schedule and fade out settings here, giving you full control over how the sleep timer functions. Next is the boost volume button, which does exactly what it sounds like, boosts the volume of your audiobook. This is especially useful if you're listening in a noisy environment or if the audiobook's volume is lower than you'd like. Then there's the equalizer button. Um, I particularly like the mono setting in the equalizer, which enhances the voice quality and makes it sound even better. The equalizer allows you to fine tune the audio to your preference. This, this feature is perfect for customizing the listening experience, especially if you're using headphones or external speakers. 
The playback speed button allows you to adjust the speed of the narration. You can slow it down if you want to savor the details, or speed it up if you're trying to get through a book quickly. The characters button lets you write down the names of characters from your audiobook. This, this feature is useful for audiobooks with many characters, helping you keep track of who's who. You can add names and short descriptions, which is great for complex stories where it's easy to lose track of the characters. The bookmark button lets you add bookmarks to your audiobooks for easy reference. If there's a particularly interesting passage you want to revisit, just tap the bookmark button and it will save your place. You can add as many bookmarks as you like, and each one is timestamped, so you can easily jump back to any point in the audiobook. Next is the lock button, which hides the rewind buttons to prevent accidental skips. This is a small but handy feature, especially if you're prone to accidentally tapping buttons while listening. The Opus button allows you to convert your audiobooks into the Opus file format, reducing the space they take on your device. Just make sure to back up your audiobooks before doing this, as converting files may reduce their quality. This feature is particularly useful if you're running low on storage and need to compress your audiobook files. The ID3 button is a small feature that makes a big difference. When you tap on Select Files, you see file names with extensions, which can be confusing. The ID3 button reads the title from the ID3 tags, making chapter titles clean and easy to read. This helps you identify chapters more easily, especially if the original file names are not descriptive. The Rotate icon allows playback to pause when you rotate your screen down and resume when you rotate it back up. This is another small but useful feature, especially if you often change the orientation of your device while listening. Finally, there's the Cast button, which lets you cast your screen to another monitor. This is great if you want to listen to your audiobook through a larger speaker system or share the experience with others. Finally, let's dive into some more customization settings. Start by tapping the More Options menu, then select Settings and choose Full Version Settings. Here, uh, you'll find several customization options. For instance, you can add a Repeat button to the main screen. This feature lets you repeat a book or chapter either a specific number of times or infinitely. It's perfect for studying or learning a new language. Now, let's look at the headset controls. Scroll down to find the Wired Headset Control and Bluetooth Headset Control. These options allow you to manage your audiobook playback through your headphones. Next, go back to the main settings menu and tap on playback. Here, you can customize further with options like auto rewind and call control. The call control feature is particularly useful. It pauses your audiobook when you receive an incoming call and resumes playback as soon as the call ends. This way, you never miss a moment of your book, even if you need to take a call. To wrap things up, the Smart Audiobook Player app offers a range of powerful features and a user-friendly interface, making it a standout choice for audiobook enthusiasts. Whether you're a seasoned listener or new to audiobooks, this app enhances your listening experience. That's all for today's video. If you found this walkthrough of Smart Audiobook Player helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more app reviews and tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.